Now the everyday drink that could give you teeth like a drug addict. Yeah, we're talking about diet soda of all things. A new study says if you drink too much, it could have the same effect on your teeth as crack cocaine. Marie Savager joins us live now, and I guess the big question is, Marie, how much is too much? Well, Karen Fields, it's probably less than you think. If you're one of those people that drinks at least two 32-ounce diet sodas a day, you are in the range, or at least getting very close to it, of doing serious damage to your teeth. But is it a little dramatic to compare it to the damage that hard drugs might do? Well, we'll let you decide. Be honest with yourself. How much diet soda do you drink in a day? I started drinking soda as a teenager and probably have one or two a day. While some have sworn off cool carbonated beverages, others fill up with abandon. We asked Steve Gilbert, do you ever think about what you're sipping? I probably do worry about some of the chemicals in diet soda, but I'm thinking more about, you know, in my stomach, the acids there rather than on my teeth. Maybe he should. According to a study by the Academy of General Dentistry, diet soda is as bad for your teeth as hard drugs like meth and cocaine. In this recent study, experts looked at a woman in her 30s who drank two liters of soda a day. Now, that may sound like a lot to you, but consider this. Two liters is about 67 ounces. So if you're one of those people who drinks a 32 ounce in the morning and then maybe another one in the afternoon, you're practically there. And that's not to mention people who might drink 44 ounces or more during a day. In the dental world, this is stuff that we've known for years and years and years. Dr. Lee Weinstein is a Scottsdale dentist who studied diet pop's damage. While he's not surprised, his patients were. Think that you're drinking diet soda, so it's all good, and it turns out it's not. They have citric acid in them, they have phosphoric acid in them, and they are erosive. You do that over an extended period of time, that will erode your teeth. Your teeth will end up looking basically like this. It's not pretty, but it's possible if you're drinking gallons a week and you don't see a dentist. But as with many things, the doctor says you can drink diet in moderation. Gilbert is counting on that to keep his mouth healthy. I don't sense any sort of teeth decay. Maybe other people feel differently, but I think they're okay. He may be okay uh, after this study, but critics say, especially critics from the American Beverage Association, they're looking at this and they're saying that it's very dramatic and a little irresponsible for this study to compare the damage done by diet pop to that of meth or cocaine. They're saying if you have a good diet and you do see a dentist and take care of your teeth, you should be just fine. A couple of other tips that we picked up from the dentist today, if you are drinking diet pop in excess, according to the study, be sure to use a straw. That'll keep it from staying on your teeth. And if you do drink it without a straw, it's in your mouth. Afterward, you can chew some gum or swallow some water, anything to get those acids out of your mouth fields. A little food for thought tonight. <laughs> I've heard of the straw tip before. I guess everything is okay in moderation is the tip to be heard here. Thank you so much, Marie. Yeah.